Hi, welcome to Party at Home with Diane in part three of a three-part series of how to um, do a blending background using blending tools. We're using the High Tide stamp set. This stamp set is on our retired list. It won't be in the current or the new catalog. It'll be retiring out of our current catalog. Um, it is on back order right now, but you are able to order it. So if you like this stamp set, order it now um, and get it before it's gone for good. If you'd like to place an order, um, head over to my website at partyathome.net. And when you place your order, it when you go to um, pay, there'll be a box that says host code. If you could use my host code here, I would be very much appreciated. Um, that is how I can earn, um, oh, excuse me, I still have a terrible cold. Um, but the host code is how I can earn products um, like ink, stamps, paper to use for um, doing these videos. And I can also um, use those products when I do giveaways for current customers. So it's kind of a benefit to both of us. So let's get started on this third part of this series because I am so excited. This has just been such a fun series to do and I just love, love this stamp set. And so I'm just so sorry it's gonna be retiring. So this is the stamp set that or the stamp, the card, that we did in the first series one. And this was the basic card. So it's just using two, um, two inks for the sky and one ink for the, the ocean. And so um, it's just kind of a basic, simple card. In series two, we set it up, um, took it up just a notch and in the background we used um, four different colors and then we cut up the card just to make it a little bit um, more advanced and using your sentiments they fit right in the center so that was um, session two and now we're in part three where it's the more advanced um, coloring of the skies. I'm focusing on the blending of the skies and the actual card toppers than the cards themselves. Um, by now everybody should know how to um, make their card bases. So I'm not going over that. So this um, tutorial is going to be using a lot of colors and how to make like an angry sky, stormy sky. And then this one is just not quite, it's like dusk almost. And I'll go over how to make it look like it's raining or just stormy. And um, so I am so excited. So let's get started. So again, we're using the High Tide stamp set that's retiring. You'll want to start out by stamping this one right here with the um, platform for the lighthouse onto a piece of yellow sticky paper um, and cutting it out. Or if you don't have the yellow sticky paper, what I used was um, my Zig two-way glue. You can put the glue on it, let it sit and dry, and then it makes it tacky. And I've used this a bunch of times and it's still tacky. Um, so that's what I've used there. And you'll want to cut out the circle for the sun. And again, I did the same thing, just stamped it out and used um, my two-way glue. Um, you will need a blender tool. So Stampin' Up! has blender tools and they are on back order. And so I haven't been able to order them yet. Um, I did have finger daubers, but I've used them so much that I just can't use them anymore. Um, so I dug through my stash and I found that I had these blender tools and I've had these forever. 
and um, so that's what I'll be using today but you can use anything you can use a sponge Stampin up has a sponge that's round and you can cut it up and um, use that you can use cotton balls you can just kind of go around your house and see what you have that you could use for a blender tool as long as it holds ink and the ink comes off when you swipe it um, you're good to go so that's what for starters for the inks we are going to use the memento black ink um, for the sentiment for the lighthouse I cannot find my reds anywhere my Stampin' Up! red inks I might have lent them to somebody and haven't got them back yet I'm just not sure so for these videos I'm using the memento rhubarb stock but you can use any ink colors you can use a black if you're doing like a nighttime scene you can use the grays uh, if you want to do like a mono type scene um, you can use the the Merlot or the Razzleberry um, you can use the, the Knight of Navy you can use anything you want so you don't have to be stuck in that little box and you can use two colors you could use like yellow and red um, it's just up to you what you want just play think outside the box um, so then we're going to use for the sky the Mary Merlot the Knight of Navy and we're also going to use the Knight of Navy for the um, for the ocean the water we're going to use the Dandelion Delight the Mango Melody for the ground or the um, the dunes or the dirt however you want to look at it um, we're going to use the soft suede and then for the the dune grass or the ocean grass we're going to use the granny apple green and you can see how I did it this one I went straight across this one I came down made it look more like it's on a cliff um, and then the ocean grass on there Woohoo! I'm so excited You'll also need, um, if you want to pop up your sentiment, um, some Stampin' Dimensionals and your clear stamping blocks and your um, chamois. Now you're gonna say, Diane, your chamois is really small. So what I did was I took my big chamois, this one's really dry. I took my big chamois and I cut it in half and then I cut each of those in half and then I cut those in half so now I have a whole bunch of little chamois that fit my my fingers just fine um, so let's get started this card is so fun so we're gonna start with um, the basic five by four and a quarter card um, stock and we're going to cut it down to fit on your base so here's your base so we're going to cut this one down to um, four and three fourths by three and three fourths is that right nope this one was cut down to five by three and three fourths. So this one was cut down to five and five and three and three fourths. I'm getting a little woozy. This is my third video now, but hey, I am so excited to get these done. So I was gonna do them all together, but I decided to separate them out into three separate videos. So let's get started. So first of all, oh, and you're gonna need a scrap piece of paper. So, you know, when you're scrapping and you have things laying around, you grab what you do to write your shopping list on. So this is the paper that I'm gonna use. You're gonna want to decide um, where you want your, um, your sky, 
your ocean and um, your grass or your um, land um, because we're going to stamp out the lighthouse first. So we're going to get our inks out. Um, it doesn't matter which stamp you use first in for the um, lighthouses. Oh, there it is. I was like, where did my lighthouse go? I had them all pulled out. Now they've all kind of stuck together. So it doesn't matter which one you use first um, when you're stamping these out. So for this one, last video, I used this one first, then this one. So I'll use this one first this time. I'll lay that down there and get this set off to the side. Get it nice and inked up. Oh, pardon my hands here. Okay, so where do we want? How much, oops, wrong way how much land and how much sea. So I'm going to bring mine up a little bit. And there you go. I like to leave my stamp on there just for a minute so the ink can absorb up into the um, basic white cardstock. Um, I just find that that just gives it just a little bit better. Um, it helps it absorb a little bit better. There we go. Get the chamois, clean it off. Always get in the habit of cleaning off your stamps. Okay, then we'll go to the next one. This is just so fun. I'm just over the moon with this stamp set. So you're gonna to wanna to line them up. This takes me just a minute to get them lined up. And you know what? If it's not perfect, don't stress. You know, it just is what it is when you're stamping. It's organic. It's natural. It's handmade. It's not machine made. So people aren't going to notice if it's off just a little bit. And there's no stamping up police. There are no stamp police. Nobody's going to come knocking at your door saying you did that wrong or you shouldn't have done it that way. There you go. See, it's off just a little bit by, but by the time you get done, nobody is going to know. Nobody's going to, that's not the right one. Here it is. Um, nobody's going to say, oh, you did it wrong. Okay. So next we want to decide where we want our land. So I'm going to use my bigger block for that. Oh, and I always run my finger across here because I almost did this. I got it on there backwards. So I just kind of got in the habit of running my finger over it to make sure that I have the flat side down because, you know, sometimes when you just get stamping, things happen. All right. So this has a little notch in it right here. We're going to match that notch up right here to the base of the the lighthouse. So we're going to stamp this up. Now I could have put the lighthouse over a little bit more this way and I would have had more of a hill like, but this will be good. It still looks like it's a cliff. Line it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Stamp it down. Now I like to use the first generation type stamping on this because um, it makes it a lot darker. And then what you can do is you can use the stamp again, stamp it off, and then you can just go right on up and give it another stamp. 
and now you have that dimension on there. Now this is great. This when they made and designed this stamp set, I'll tell you, whoever did it was brilliant because they have this little tiny piece. I have stamps everywhere all of a sudden. This little piece right here, it looks like a thumbprint. Best thing ever. So, put it on your stamp block. Doesn't matter which side goes which way. Watch this. Give it a little bit of ink. And it has now become a little filler. How brilliant is that? And you just stamp and stamp and stamp. Until you get it where you like it. And don't stress about it. Again, it's a stamp. And when you look out at the water or at a cliff, there are lights and darks and shadows. There's sand, there's dirt. So don't stress about making it, you know, just so perfect. If you don't want any of the white, all you have to do is take one of your blender tools. This one still has a little bit of brown on it. And then just go and blend it out just a little bit. And then just blend that darkness away. Or that lightness and give it just a little bit of blending. It's up to you, it's your card. And I don't stress about it because it's going to look amazing no matter what you do. Okay, so next we're going to get our masks and we're going to put our masks on. So when you make your masks, use this one right here with the ledge. Um, because if you don't... Um, the other one doesn't have this ledge, and so you'll overlap. Mine just, it, I've used this so much that the stickiness is going away a little bit, but it's still good. Okay, so now you got your mask on. Now you're gonna take your sun and figure out where you want your sun. Um, I'm just gonna plop it down, how about that? It really doesn't matter. Um, where you have your sun. Maybe I'll bring it down just a little bit. Oh, see, now I'm getting in my head. Just get out of my head and let it be. So, next we're going to get our scrap piece of paper and we're gonna want to figure out how far we want our sky and how much um, of of the water that we want, of the ocean. So maybe I'll go right about here. So what I like to do is use my grids on my paper, on the gridded paper. Oh, my poor puppy, she's whining. I am so sorry. Line up my grid. So I line up with a line here and a line along here and just kind of figure out where I want how much water I want and how much sky I want. To me, that's just fine. So we're gonna go with this. So I'm gonna switch out these cards. So on this card here, I used yellow. And then I used the Mary Merlot, or I used the um, Daffodil Delight. I used the Mango Melody the Mary Merlot, and then lastly, on top, I used the Knight of Navy. So, we're gonna start with the Daffodil Delight. Oh, I don't know what she wants. They just came inside, they've been fed. Maybe she just wants attention. So, these two are so close, I can never tell which one's which. And so, I'm gonna stamp it. So I always just stamp off a little so it's not so saturated. 
And so when we start, we're going to want to go side to side on the yellow. So we're just going to go side to side to side just to get a base of that yellow. And don't worry if it's splotchy, uh, if you have like white spots in there, because that's kind of what you want to help it blend. So then the next I did the Mary Merlot. And we're going to stamp this one up. And give me just a quick minute here. Sorry about that. I think they see a bird outside. We have sight hounds and they want to play. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick kind of where we want um, this, but not really. So you're just going to like pick a spot and go across. Pick a spot and go across. Because when you do, when you look at the sky, it's not always just one color straight across. You've got glimpses of all different kinds, different colors. So we're just going to give it a light tap. So you can always add, but you can't put back. And so um, just remember that um, start out light first. And if you're like, man, I just really don't like that. You can go ahead and, and add a different color or go back over it at a different time. And that's perfectly fine. Um, so next we're going to, oh, that was the yellow. Um, use the, the Mango Melody. And if you'll notice, I close mine up every time I use them only because I have stuck my finger in there or grabbed the wrong color when I've been doing this. And so I just kind of got in that habit. So now we're going to take the orange and again, we're just going to, we're going to go around the sun just a little bit, just around it to give it a, a shadow, a highlight. And then we're going to go back again and then just kind of go across. So just not a lot. We're just building up colors right now. And let's take a sneak peek. See, And you can see it's just looking cool. It's looking so cool, but it's not like that angry yet. So I'm going to just add a little bit more color right there through the middle. Now we are going to take, it's like painting. You know, you don't really see the whole picture until you're done. And then you're like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. How'd they do that? Well, this is how. I have some little fuzzies. All right. So I still have a lot of blue ink on here from my last card. So I'm just going to start with that. And I'm going to go right around the edges. Now, so far we've been going side to side. Because when the wind's blowing, it's blowing the, the clouds side to side. When it's raining, they come down and you can see the rain coming down. So, well, let's just do that. We'll do the rain. So on, on the blue, well, here, we're going to start this way first. So for the angry clouds, they're kind of like in circles because the wind is circling them and everything. So we're going to come in here and do circles all along the edge. All along the edge, we're going to do these circles. And up along here, just kind of outline it. And you can come in as far as you want. You, you know, you can stay just on the edges. It is so up to you. Now we're just going to start at the top and drag it down and start at the top and drag it down. And you'll get these lines and it looks like it's raining. I just think that is so cool. Um, and that's it. I mean, easy peasy pudding pie on this card. Um, 
for the sky. If you want, you can come back in with your yellow. And the darker you make it, the more you go around on the edges, the, it's kind of like the angrier or the, the stormier the clouds, the clouds are. And just play, see? I'm just kind of going over and going over, and then you have to get out of your head and go, stop! Because you, can, you can't go back. You can always go forward. Um... No, I forgot what I was going to say. So anyway, there you go. We're all done. And look at that. How cool is that? So next we're going to do the, um, the water. So on the water, what we're going to do is we're going to lay our paper just below that line because we want to have a little horizon. We want to have that horizon line there. And it's and it's not very thick. If you get it too thick, you can always go back and and make it thinner, but you can't go the other way. And so now we're going to work on our ocean. Oops, where did our blue go? And so we're going to take or Knight of Navy, and I'm going to stamp a lot of it off because I want the background. Okay, here we go. Not not as dark, but, um, or not really light, but not as dark as the other. So we still have our mask on there. Get her horizon line. And again, we're going to go left to right because it's water. And we want to get that, that visual going. So, cause we don't want it to look like rain. So we're just gonna start over here and swipe and swipe. And now see, you've got these light and darks and that'll make it look like the tides. And I just think that that's awesome. And that's all you have to do. I mean, how easy peasy, this is so fun. So the next we're going to use the water stamp and it's right here and it has a thick side and a thin side or a not straight side. I like the thicker side down towards the, um, the land. You can use it the other way and then it makes it look like there's land back here um, to give it look like it's more of a canal instead of an ocean. So I'm using the thick side down. So now I'm going to take it, I think I'm going to do a stamp it off and then stamp it. So you're just going to go right over the lighthouse along the water or along the, the cliff edge here and then just give it a stamp. And you have your, your paper here so you're not going to get it into your sky. And then just go over and Stamp it off again. Stamp it over here. Now right here we have a little a little area that looks like there's nothing there. If you want that filled in, you can just ink up your stamp on the edge and then just kind of tap it and it'll fill that in. For me, I don't mind it. It kind of makes it look like a little riptide thing, but you can fill it in right there. So let's clean off our stamp and we are ready for our big reveal I mean how easy peasy is this it's just been a few minutes and and we are like so good to go and I just love this okay so quick tip if you have a bottle of rubbing alcohol or rubbing alcohol of hand sanitizer we all use hand sanitizers nowadays Try to keep one in your craft area because it works great for taking off all that ink that you get on your hands. Um, I am a messy crafter and so I have ink everywhere on me. So um, that's just a handy tip. I do leave this on because like I said, I have put my thumb in it and 
turned my sun into a moon. Okay, here's the big reveal. We're gonna pull that one off. We're gonna pull that off. If you don't like it so white, now you can go back and take your yellow and kind of dab the yellow in there a little bit. This is the yellow. And you can kind of just dab it in there to make it not quite so bright. And here we go. Look at that. How awesome is that? I just love this card set. Um, so again, it is retiring. If you want it, get it now. Get it, get it while it's available. You can put your sentiment on it down below. You can put it off to the side. Um, I kind of like it right there. Or you don't have to use a sentiment at all and go just like this. Um, to finish off this card, we are going to grab our seagrass or ocean grass, maybe. Mine has disappeared. Oh, here it is. All oh, my stuff is just sticking to everything. Okay, here's the seagrass. We're going to use the granny apple green. And just right along here and there, I'm going to stamp You can do as little or as much as you like. I kind of like it just like that. Oh, maybe I'll add one more right up here. There we go. And then we have the birds and we are done. I mean, oh my gosh, easy peasy pudding pie. And you're gonna be like, oh, I don't know how I can do that. Yes, you can. And one of my, my hints is, you can practice on paper and just practice, but you're going to find that you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I love this design and it's not on a card. So practice on cards, practice this way. Um, if you don't like it, flip it over and start on the back. Um, but start out on a card because more often than not, you're going to end up liking what you've practiced. So we're going to get um, our black memento. We're going to get our birds. Okay, now don't be afraid to cut your birds. So like this has three little ones and three big ones. You can cut your die across here and then you have two separate stamps with the little birds. Oh my dogs, I am so sorry. Little birds and big birds. And that's fine too. I might do that later. And I'm just gonna go right along here and stamp that down. I've been doing videos this morning and I didn't go out and run them. We have whippets and so they're just a little hyper. There we go. Clean off my stamp. They're either high energy, want to go outside and run, or they are sleeping on the couch or in their dog beds. They are just two funny dogs. Okay, oops, make it at least go the right way. So, here we go. There's your sentiment. And easy peasy, how cool is that? I mean, and you can change it up. You don't have to do the orange there. You could do um, the rich razzleberry and give it that red glow around it. Um, I like kind of the stormy sea, the stormy rainy with the, the orange around it. But on this one, I didn't use the orange. Um, it's just whatever you want and, and get out of your head. Cause look at this, no, none of your cards are going to be the same when you work on them. The the seas, the skies are all going to be different. And so 
um, just go with it, you know, get out of your head and have some fun. Just let, let, let your imagination go wild. Um, so that is the conclusion of part three of our three part series. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Um, go ahead and give me a like, share, or follow, or and follow. I'd truly appreciate it. Um, again, if you want to order the High Tide um, stamp set, it is on back order. So go ahead and get it ordered now. They are fulfilling those orders um, because you don't want to get stuck and not be able to get this stamp ordered. It is just awesome and amazing. I also have a video on um, all of the stamps that are retiring. So you can go and check that out to see which stamp sets are retiring. Again, if you order, please go ahead and use my current month's host code because again, that helps me buy the stamp sets and the inks and the papers um, so I can do these YouTube videos. Um, happy stamping, like, share, and follow, and I will see you next time.